NFL Gambling Picks Week Number 15. Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books down there. Samstown, Hollywood Casino, First Jackpot, uh, the Fitz Casino. Did I already say the Fitz Casino? Nope. Nope. Uh, and then you got uh, Horseshoe and Gold Strike. So, six awesome ones down there. TunicaTravel.com is the place to go to get more information on all of them. You can also go check us out over at WinningCuresEverything.com. We've got our picks, our previews, our YouTube stuff, which if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Leave us a couple of comments. Let us know what you think about the show. Let us, let us know what we got right, what we got wrong, etc., etc. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, on Facebook. All that stuff's over at WinningCuresEverything.com. Uh, last week, our football picks contest, which is running all the way through the NFL regular season. Uh, we had... Not as many people jump in last week, but Carol C. from Huntsville, Alabama went 7-3. and three. She got two nights at the Fitz Casino. She got a $100 gift certificate for the, uh, uh, the steakhouse down there. She got $50 in free slot play. This week, same deal, two nights, $100 steak, uh, dinner, whatever, $50 slot play at Samstown. So, um, so you... You go over to winningcureseverything.com, jump in that bad boy, let's do that thing. We had somebody go 5-0 and last week, and they never would respond to me about jumping on the show. So, well, If they respond, we'll, we'll let them on. If they respond, we'll they let them on. Have, they don't have to respond immediately, I get it. They might not check their stuff, but... So we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll if keep he, reaching out. Keep We're reaching out, keep doing your thing. Um, same deal goes for this week. You go five and zero oh in your spread deal, picks. Man. Going five and zero oh is tough. That is uh, that is very difficult. But yeah, go you go five and zero oh against the spread. Now remember, leave them in the comments below. All you got to do, pick your games. Tell us where you got your lines. I'll look at what date you got the lines and make sure it evens up and whatnot. And then we'll go from there. So if you go five and zero. Oh, we're going to get you on the show. We'll call you up. We'll see what's happening. Or if you just want to send us a video and get, get your picks right. in, we'll toss it in on the video. So that way you get your name out there. We'll, we'll help you all out. Um, but I'm curious. You know, we had some people talking smack earlier, saying that we don't know what we're talking about. It's tough to win games against the spread. It just is what it is. Uh, so let's jump into our gambling picks for this week. Uh, last week I went 4-1. and one. That's a good week. That's a good week a after going week. one and four the week before. It's a hell of a week, brother. <laughs> so that moves me to 34, 34, and two. So I'm dead even. You went two and three. That only moved Wait you. Minute. I thought I went three and two. No, you went two and three last week. Are you sure about that? I am 100% positive. Okay. I went back and double checked it over and over and over again. Am I, am I, uh, <laughs> do, do we need to pull this up? No, I'm sure we did. I bet a lot of games. Um, I, I usually try to do the same five I do for here is my five for my super contest picks, and I went three and two in the super contest. I'm trying to think of what game I left off of this that I put in the other one. I am curious. Uh, hold on, I will. I'll pull it up. We this is riveting radio. I would imagine. Uh, it can't be. That but bad. uh, no, nah, it can't be that bad. Let's see sheets. Da, 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 da. I, I don't know that I have done that. I think every week so far I've made sure my super contest and my five pick because it's just easier for me to keep up with. No, that, that I mean, what that makes five sense. are because I bet a lot of games. What five are the most important to me? Because not only do I have money riding on them, but I also have them in contest or public picks. All right, uh, you missed the Bills minus three and a half. Bills Philly. I know I missed. You missed Philly, and you missed the Broncos minus six. I had the Broncos in that. Did I have Indy, Tennessee, or New Orleans? You Which had Tennessee and the Saints. Okay, so I didn't have Indy. I had Indy in my Super Contest. Uh, okay. That's where I – so I swapped Indy and the Broncos. Yep. That, that, was, a, that was a mistake. Yeah. But that's an eight. Sometimes you're going to have those. That's right. It is what it is. My record that I had at home, I was like, oh, I'm still – I'm still, you know, still better. Yeah, look, I didn't you, have a losing week. Look, you, you're still at 58%. Week. That's so strong, like, but it's, you're you're doing fine. You were right. okay. Everything is wonderful. And I really good. want to finish sixty, but with only three weeks left, it's going to be hard to move it up. It's yeah, it's going to be tough. But uh, but hey, you still got time. We got three weeks left. That's we right. we can do this thing. Let's jump in. Game number one. You want game one or you want me to? I, How about I, this? Are, are you betting Thursday night? I'm taking game one. What game is Thursday night? Oh yeah, we're going head to head. All right. Uh, I've got all right, so game one for me. Chargers okay. at the Chiefs. 
I got the Chiefs minus three and a half. I think home field advantage. The the metrics have got the Chiefs at four point eight three point favorite. Okay. So I'm going to roll with that. That is that's more than three and a half. Mm-hmm. I think the Chiefs had their scare last week. I think they will be amped up for this one. The Chargers, two and seven in their last nine, straight up against the Chiefs. Um, okay. and they're not much better against the spread. Okay. So it, Chiefs against divisional opponents. Always, always bet the Chiefs as long as Andy Reid has been there. They have just been lights out against divisional opponents. Uh, Chargers didn't look so good last week. They might have been looking ahead. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, uh, but yeah, I like Kansas City at home on Thursday night, minus three and a half. I like the Chargers. I think Kansas City has not played two good teams back-to-back all season. I think they haven't been challenged in back-to-back weeks all season. I think they were pushed last week. And had they been playing a team that was a little bit better offensively, I think they lose that game. I think their defense is absolute trash. I think the Chargers have an opportunity to score on almost every possession. If I was the Chargers, i leave the field goal kicker at home. i go for every <laughs> two-point conversion, and I never, I never kick a field goal. I just go for it on fourth down until I score or I punt. And I try to punt as little as possible. I I okay. also I also think <clears throat> the rain and bad weather is going to help the Chargers based on the style of offenses these teams play. This crazy fast, unbelievable no look passing, throwing the ball all over the place style of offense is not going to work well in the rain. That's totally and, feasible, and, and and that's that's what I think now, coaching wise. Anthony Lynn's going to get his pants coached off of him. Yeah. That's going to happen. Offensively, the Chiefs have that as well, but I don't think the gap is as big as everyone else thinks it is because I think the elements are going to kind of bring these two teams close together on that. The and one you're getting thing, more than a field goal. And the one thing that I'm also getting is, is Melvin Ingram and Joey Bosa might be the best one-two combo in all the NFL at rushing the passer. We're going to see – if Patrick Mahomes is unstoppable, invincible, all of these things, because I don't think the Chiefs' offensive line is great. I think Mahomes makes people miss a lot. But I also don't think he's had to go up against a team where he had to worry about multiple rushers. Okay. And this will be a game where he does. And we'll see how well he does when he gets hit. Now, that makes sense. That makes We're sense. We're going to learn a lot about the Chiefs. We're going to learn a lot about Patrick Mahomes. And here's, here's what, here's what this, this game needs to tell a story to Chiefs fans. You've looked great all season. You have an opportunity to have home field advantage all season throughout the playoffs. But if you don't play well in bad weather, that home field advantage might not be what you want. You might want to go to L.A. and play the Chargers in the playoffs. Yeah. yeah. Be- because your offense doesn't look like stylistically it works in the mud, in the rain, in the snow. Yeah. We, we, will, we will see. We will see. So anyway, I'm I'm going Chargers. You're going Chiefs. Game number two for me. Saturday night. The Browns at the Broncos. I'm taking the Broncos minus three. Okay. So metrics say the Broncos should be favored by six in this game. Uh, both teams been playing pretty well lately. Um, Cleveland's think, won the last three out of four. Yep, and and so have the Broncos. Yeah, but Broncos are a good team. That's uh, well. I mean, they got the same number of wins. Well, all right. Cle- so, is Cleveland not Cle- a good team? No. Cleveland <laughs> Cleveland is three out of the last four without Hugh Jackson. Okay. That okay. makes sense. You have the same team you've had all season, minus two, your two best wide receivers. Yeah. Cleveland just dropped a 220-pound weight. Yeah. I Okay, I can understand that. Uh, Broncos last week lose at the 49ers. Browns win at... At the Panthers. Nope, home for the Panthers. It's all right. Uh, Browns, lo- uh, <sighs> Browns win. Home for the ag- Panthers. Home against the Panthers. Correct. Broncos lose on the road against the 49ers. Browns got to go two mile high on a Saturday night. That place will be amped up. They think they still got a shot at the, uh, at the playoffs. I think this team shows up. I think this defense shows up. Uh, I mean, Baker, when he has to play... Really good defenses, and I don't know that the Broncos are like a really good defense, but they still got some players. 
They got guys that are going to rush him and yes. make him run. Which and, is what the yeah. Texans did, and the Texans made him look bad. Real bad. Picked off, yeah. what, three, four times in that game? I think it was three, but yeah. it, it, it felt like ten. That's right. Um, and I think that the Broncos can do the same thing here. I'm, I'm only giving up a field goal. Metrics say that the Broncos should win by more. I'm going to take the Broncos minus three on Saturday night at home. If you listen to our preview pick, uh, not pick, preview. Previews. Um, Week 15 preview. Yeah, whatever. That <laughs> video and or the podcast, and you're about 15 minutes ago, you know that I took the Vikings. I like the Vikings minus seven. I think this is classic overreaction in NFL. I think one team got beat on national TV on Monday night, and the other team won in glorious fashion, and we're going to watch that highlight Every day, 10 times a day, if you watch any of the sports talk channels whatsoever, you're going to see the miracle in Miami over and over and over again. You're going to see them beating the Patriots, and you're going to think, man, that's a good team. And they've got seven wins, and all seven of those wins have come in Miami. All six of their losses on the road, and they haven't had a close game on the road at all. Every team on the road has beat the hell out of this Dolphins team. Yep. They don't travel well. At all. I am I am taking Minnesota, coming off of a bad loss. Everything's going against them. They fired the row C, all this stuff, and everything's going right for the Dolphins. Just be careful. Because I, I thought Vegas would make this line three, four-point line, something like that. Yeah. More than a field goal. But what it, I, I was sh- when I saw it was a touchdown, I knew I was going to take Minnesota. Because that yeah. is Vegas begging everybody. Please bet the Dolphins. That's that's what it seems like. Uh, game number three for me, the Raiders at the Bengals. Oh, these are two bad teams. Really bad teams. Woo! Bengals are a three-point favorite. I am rolling with the home team here. Uh, the Raiders put everything they had into beating the Steelers last week at home. Now they got to go on the road to Cincy, early game, I think the Bengals bounce back because they looked good against the Chargers last week. They they still got some fight in them. Jeff Driscoll is not great, but he is serviceable. Uh, the Raiders, I still think, are a trash team. I think the Bengals win this game. I think they covered the three. Until Hugh Jackson is gone, the Bengals won't win another game. Yeah, we'll see about that. So anyway, Remember, they're playing the Raiders. I, I'm, I'm, and, and you know how I feel about the Raiders. I know. I'm standing by my previous You're statement. also a Browns fan that hated Hugh Jackson. That, no, so. no, 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 no. That has, your fandom for the Browns has nothing to do with the fact that Hugh is absolute trash. And he just brings that stink with him everywhere he goes. <laughs> What's your game number three? My game number three. <laughs> I'm taking the Rams. This Rams team scored zero offensive touchdowns. What uh, what line did you get? I got them at 11. Okay. The Rams scored zero offensive touchdowns last week. I I don't know how many touchdowns they're going to score against the Eagles. I I bet it's more than five. I I'm, I, I think they're going to score a lot. I think Sean McVay said, you think we got slowed down? No. Nah. Now this Eagles <laughs> no, team. The temperature slowed us down. This Eagles team is is not the Bears defense. They, and they've we, been to feel it. And we get to come to LA. And <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, Philly. But y'all played stupid against the Cowboys and you're about to suffer the wrath of a pissed off McVay. Yeah. I I think I think they're gonna beat him by three touchdowns. I think the Rams are gonna beat the hell out of them. And I don't know that you're gonna have the excuse of Carson wins but I don't know that Carson wins could save him. No. I, I look, I don't think there's a whole lot of difference between Foles and Wentz. I don't either. So, it, you know, like what are you swapping to? Like you probably got a better shot here. Sure. Right. Um uh, game number 4 for me, the Detroit Lions going to the Buffalo Bills. The Lions are a two and a half point underdog. Metrics say the Lions should win this by 2.64. I am rolling with the Lions here. Matt Patricia knows this Buffalo team. I think he will make Josh Allen look goofy. I think I'm hoping I'm hoping that Carry on Johnson is back. Even if he's that, not, I think LeGarrette Blunt, uh that whole bunch like they they know this Bills team. It's not like this is a, a, a interdivisional game that they just have no idea what to expect. That's right. Like 
you got guys that have been on that side before. And I still don't think that Buffalo's that good, even at home. No, you're probably right. And so I, I, if, I'm, if I'm looking at a Lions team catching points against a team that I don't think is very good, give me the Lions. I'll, I'll go Lions plus two and a half at Buffalo. I just realized looking at all the games that I like, I'm taking all favorites except the Chargers. Yeah, it seemed really chalky with the Vikings and the Rams. You you know how much I hate doing that. Yeah, that, that happens sometimes. I don't care. I'm not changing my picks. I made them. I made them. I'm sticking with them. Let's go with – I'm having a hard time because I'm looking at the sheet, and I wrote nine games down that I like a lot. I wrote nine. I'm going to go – I'm going to go with the Ravens laying seven and a half against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Okay. I think this Tampa Bay Buccaneers this, – this is what I love about this team and the Ravens. First, Ravens are a pretty damn good defense, okay? They might be the second or third best defense in the league. They're definitely top three, okay? I don't know that they're better than the Cowboys, but they're in the conversation of them and the Cowboys for number two over the, over the, 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 the Bears. Jameis Winston, it's, it's – it's, it's a leopard can't change his spots. Jameis Winston is going to turn the ball over. Three games straight now, he hasn't turned the ball over at all. Last week, in a Hail Mary situation, it was an interception. That doesn't really count. So three weeks, throwing the football for, quote-unquote, precise throws, no interceptions. We are about to make – that mean is going to regress, and we are about to make up for it. It's about to go I, down. I, I have a feeling that we could get four, five. That's a, a, I I think <laughs> I think this Ravens team is going to beat him up and just take the football away. They play exceptionally well in Baltimore. Oh yeah, Tampa Bay about to come up there. It's going to be cold. It's going to be nasty. And this Ravens team defensively still going to beat you up. It's I like more it. than a touchdown. Seven and a half. I don't like the hook. I don't know that I care. I think James – I'm betting on Jameis. I'm betting on Jameis. Jameis will, to give will me the turn ball. the ball over. Just give me the ball. We're going to make up. Three games, no turnovers? No, sir. No, no, no. It's it's time to it's time to get back to that two to three a game average. Okay. Okay. Game number five for me. The Packers at the Bears. I'm taking the Bears minus five and a half. The Matrix, we've got it. Bears, 7.67. Look, everybody thinks that the Packers got back on track last week. They fired Mike McCarthy. Aaron Rodgers is happy now. The Falcons are one of the worst defensive teams in the league. And on top of that, Steve Sarkeesian can't score. He can't get them into the end zone. So the Packers were always going to win that game, whether McCarthy was there or not. But, the Packers stole a game from the Bears in week one, and I think they are still mad about it. Oh, no doubt. Khalil Pack- Mack was on a pitch count that week one. He did yeah. not play much of the third or fourth quarter when the comeback was happening because he just he had no training camp, and he was just gassed. But the Bears at home? That's not the same this week, now. Soldier Field, noon. It's going to be nasty. Decent. And I understand that the Packers understand about nasty. I got that. But I'm telling you, this Bears team, they are going to be amped up for this. Metrics got it 7.67 for the Bears. That's uh, that's over two points. I'm going to roll with that one. Bears minus five and a half for me. I love that game. I want I wanted to make that pick. There are so many games I like. We tend to do bad when we pick the same one, so I'm staying away from it. My last game, I'm picking out of sheer spite. Just, just pure hatred. Don't like you. I've won a lot of money betting against you. Last five weeks, you've taken money out of my pocket. Last week, you didn't earn it. The referees gave it to you. I'm coming at you, the Cowboys, one more time. One more time, going back to this well. I'm laying points. I'm taking the Colts, minus three. I think they're going to win the game. I think they're going to put you back in the corner. Okay. At okay. some point in time, Let's let's do a rundown. Okay. Let's do a rundown. Okay. <laughs> I got uh, the Chiefs minus three and a half, uh, Broncos minus three, Bengals minus three, Lions plus two and a half, Bears minus five and a half. What are your five? 
Vikings minus seven, Colts minus three, Rams minus eleven, Chargers plus three and a half, Ravens minus seven and a half. I can't believe I'm taking all chalk. <laughs> I mean, you got the Chargers in there, so you're good. You all right? Uh, that is our NFL Week 15 gambling picks. Uh, as always, go into the football picks contest. Uh, you can find our gambling picks page over on winningcureseverything.com. You can see exactly what we've been doing all year. Every one of our picks is listed, college football and pro, uh, really for the last three years. So you can see exactly what we got, exactly what we've been doing. Um, as always, brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, South's premier sports gambling destination. Go over to tunicatravel.com. Find out more information on all six of their incredible sports books. That wraps up the Week 15 Gambling Picks. <laughs>